Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, um, Scorpios, this is your weekly check-in. Um, again, guys, these are general readings, so only takes what applies to you, right? Um, so we have um, some of the words that were coming up when I was meditating was um, detox, de-stress, reclaim your yourself, reclaim your power, um, be very um, be very aware of the stress level during this time. Um, why is this computer's fan so loud, unfortunately, and I don't know how to fix it. So um, I'm going to try to be as loud as I possibly can um, to kind of minimize the background sound. Um, and later I'll have my tech, one of the kids, <laughs> to come and take a look at it. But let's go ahead and see what is it that... Um, so again, I feel that a lot of you Scorpios are definitely um, in this energy or this sense where you're starting to feel a lot like yourself. You're starting to feel more like yourself. It's like whoever, whatever was causing you stress, I feel that you guys have put an end to that or are at least trying to, right? You're trying not to allow, um, and I do feel that this is one person in particular where, ooh, okay, I get it now. So th there, there's definitely somebody from your past that, that may have caused you guys a lot of stress, right? Um, it could have been that they had you in a third party position or you had them in a third party position, regardless of how it is that, um, you would know what it is for you personally, Scorpios. But again, there is almost this detachment that you're doing or that you're being asked, asked to do during this time. And you're kind of like almost just wanting to release, wanting to let go, um, um, I do feel that you still care for this person. You still have a lot of love for this person. But again, it's like at this time, Scorpios, your your main focus or your main energy, it's, it's more about yourself. What is it that you can do? What is it that you can do to better yourself? What is it that you can do to to get yourself to the next level? But unfortunately, it's like somebody from your past, one of these two people, actually there's three people showing up now. So again, it, it could have been um, not your last relationship, but a previous relationship from that, um, a relationship where there may have been a lot of turmoils, a lot of, um, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, where for some reason this person's energy presents themselves again in your current energy or in your future energy. They have something to do with your walk, with your path, with your journey. There, there's something that you're either supposed to learn or that you're supposed to create with this person or do with this person for for um for for the collective if that means um if that makes any sense it doesn't necessarily mean that the two of you have to be together but there is some type of collaboration or some type of work that the two of you are meant to do uh, this can be as simple as teaching the world forgiveness right teaching the world um um, for some of you, it may be a reunion, right? Getting back with an ex, um, letting go of the past or whatever it is. But there, there's definitely the just the thought, let's put it this way, of being with this person, right? And I almost poked my eye. Um, just the thought of being with this person or the 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 thought of trying to make something work with this person does elevate like let's put it this way your stress level right because again it's like whatever it is yeah definitely it's not going to be easy but it's definitely going to be worth it and again this person's energy is, is almost like following you it's like the two of you are almost like following each other and the harder that the two of you try to stay apart is like the closer that the universe um spirit is trying to bring you back together in some form or in some way again this can be as simple as a conversation that needs to be had or some type of forgiveness that needs to occur it doesn't necessarily mean that you and this person belong together even though for some of you very few of you that is exactly what it means again the goal for you this week um scorpios is to find anything possible any possible a way let's put it this way to kind of de-stress yourself right keep yourself in that space where you are not stressed because i feel that the stress is not so much that somebody is doing something towards you i think this is more of a mental game right where you start to think about things you start to worry about things and then your stress level starts to elevate your stress level gets ahead of you and it kind of then starts to control everything around you so even if you're trying to communicate even if you're trying to to move past something, right? 
it, it, it almost kind of like flips everything and kind of crumbles everything down so there's definitely a sense here of needing to um, detox maybe you have to detox from social media maybe you have to detox from what it is that you have been eating what you have been drinking like there there's definitely a, a, a sense here of needing to go inward this week in, in a sense of needing to reconnect with yourself to see exactly why it is that this person is still in your energy and why is it that in the future energy anyways they are still present right this is almost like somebody that this person helps either has helped you in the past or continues to help you whenever you hit rock bottom and it's like you you continue to run away you continue to run away but then you're always forced to either ask this person for help or you're always forced to go back into this person's space or into this person's energy i don't know if that makes any sense um so we are using the vintage key by light divination um, she does have a YouTube channel guys. Give me a second. I'm trying to get this focus. I suck at this I got a new webcam. So just be aware of it, right? Um, I love this deck. This is um, these readings are the first ones that I'm doing with them um, So it's actually um, quite beautiful that But I get to use these so let's go ahead and see what are the three cards for Scorpios? So we have the four of diamond the eight of hearts one more and then we have the ten of diamonds so with the four of diamonds we're talking about um financial um responsibility financial affairs um maybe there is the sense here of needing to save maybe that's where your detox is coming from maybe you have been spending money that you really didn't need to be spending um, there is definitely here a, a new needing to embrace the change new material assets um, documents paperwork new wardrobe stability maybe the collaboration that you have to have with this person is going to um, give you the opportunity for all of this this is what this is probably why um, the the reconnection right the um, always ending up in this person's energy or in this person's space is why it's happening is because this person is supposed to in some way or another bring this about for you sorry guys i had a little bit of water so there's definitely a sense here um yeah you guys have to definitely take some time and really analyze why you're pushing this person so much um away from you with the eight of hearts we have four priest pretenses refusing to acknowledge the truth um presented with an ultimatum ultimatum excuse me the clock is ticking decision decisions um irreparable irreparable relationships acknowledgement taking hard look at yourself um and taking a hard look at yourself we go back into that space of like needing to take some time and really see kind of like reconnect right there is an energy here of protection healing happy medium making adjustment newfound stability emotional maturity um setting the example again how i was talking about um maybe it's not about getting back with this person but there's something that you through this connection with this individual that you're going to show the collective if that makes any sense forgiveness um gaining soul lessons deep passionate intimacy and sharing wisdom so again scorpio this was your second card i'm just trying to see if i'll focus for you guys um there we go and then the third card we do have the ten of diamonds um financial financial success and stability material abundance financial freedom huge achievement in business new serenity happy career life shift in power shift in power head of household new projects um with the head of household energy i don't know why i'm picking up like this is maybe something that you wanted from this person from the past and maybe you were never able to attain move forward positive communication life of luxury business travel vital conversations so again um for all of you this is going to definitely play out a little different but just keep in mind that again whoever this person is in your life they the reuniting of the energies right or the reuniting of the two of you is more and i'm so out of focus right now is more to about something that the two of you need to need to do together collaborate together for the collective let's put it that way 
So Scorpios, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, guys, thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing the context of the channel as well as donating to the channel. If you would like a private reading, the link to my website is down below in the description as well as Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon's link. If you would like to go ahead and follow me on those platforms. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.